Today I'm going to show you how to send photos using PhotoStream. So if you're in your iPhoto collection, you can either choose particular photos or you can select a whole event. Uh, when you're ready to share, all you do is go down here to the Share button and click Photo Stream. Select a new photo stream and send it to me at heatherr at harker.org. You can give it a name like Valentine's event or whatever event it is that you want to share with the Harker Student Productions and send it to heatherr at harker.org. When you're ready to share, click share. And that's it. It'll come to me in an email and then I will be able to click and access the photos that you'd like to share. In fact, you can share your photos with anyone that way. Keep in mind that if you're trying to share photos and within the photos that you have, you have QuickTime videos, you can always tell because there's a little time stamp down in the bottom that shows how long the QuickTime video is. When you try to send a photo stream or share it via photo stream, it will tell you that videos cannot be uploaded to iPhoto, only photos. So just simply click on upload and it will just upload the photos and not the QuickTime videos. If you have video files, just put them on a USB device, drop them in my mailbox, and I'll get it back to you as soon as possible. Once you've shared a photo stream or shared photos with somebody else via photo stream, it'll come into their inbox much like this, asking to subscribe to the shared photos event. All you do is click on subscribe and join, and those photos will be added into your photo library. It'll look something like this. If you click on photo stream, you will see the title of the photo stream here. For example, here's the event. If you'd like to share a photo stream with somebody else, all you do is click on photo stream inside your iPhoto library, click on the stream that you'd like to share, click on the info button down at the bottom, and add the person that you'd like to share the photo stream with. Again, it will be shared with them via email and they can choose to subscribe or not. If you'd like to take someone off of that list, simply click on their name and remove the subscriber. If you'd like to add photos to a photo stream, you can select the photos that you'd like to add, click the Add To button, and choose to add them to a photo stream that you've already started. That way everyone who has access to the photo stream can see the new photos that you've been adding to that library. If you have any questions or need any help, just let me know.